I want to call this June Beauty Favorites, but the fact of the matter is I can't remember the last monthly Beauty Favorites video I've done, so we're going to do Beauty Favorites Lately. You good with that? Okay, good. I'm going to try and plow through. I have an entire basket full of beauty products to talk to you about today. I've got it on my lap now. I'm going to plow through kind of as fast as I can, giving you the important info. Let's get started. Okay, I'm looking at two Amica products. I'm gonna start there. We'll do hair first. Uh, the Amica The Shield Anti-Humidity Spray is such a great lightweight spray to cut the disastrous effects of humidity on your hair. I like to put this on after I've curled my hair, after I've applied like any styling products I'm using, but before hairspray. So if you are in a humid environment, whether you wanna wear your hair straight, curled, whatever, this anti-humidity spray is fantastic. You can't feel it on your hair, but it really does make a big difference. Another Amica product that I love that I've talked about for a while, but I just want to remind you is if you want a flexible hairspray, the Fluxus touchable hairspray is great. You know I love Kenra Volume 25. That is a firm hold, great hairspray for every day, for formal occasions. I love it. This is a good flexible option, and typically in the summer, if you're in a humid environment, using a really intense hairspray can sometimes work against you. You kind of need your hair to move a little bit in humidity because it's going to melt and either frizz up or melt down. So if you're able to fluff with your fingers or just revive your hair instead of it being sprayed like shellacked in place, you'll have an easier time with your hair during the day. So Fluxus is a flexible hold hairspray. Still does a great job, like I use it all the time, uh, but it's just like a step down or two from Kenra Volume 25. A shampoo I've been really loving is TG's Bedhead Fully Loaded Massive Volume Shampoo. Back in the day, I'm talking 10 plus years ago, I used a TG shampoo and conditioner. I wish I could remember the name of it. It came in two blue bottles and it was fantastic. And so when I saw this at the beauty store recently, I was like, we'll try it. I just got the shampoo. I'm pretty happy with my conditioner. And this on its own is a really intense, like it kind of, it adds a lot of volume and density to your hair, but in a way it sort of weighs mine down. So I have also, before I tried this, I was using daily my uh, Function of Beauty Shampoo and Conditioner Duo. That's customizable shampoo and conditioner. I'll put a link to it below the video. Um, I have a purple one. And so it's keeping my blonde perfect. And anyway, so I mixed the Function of Beauty shampoo with this shampoo and it's a perfect mix. So I'm like, I realize how obnoxious that sounds. I'm mix, I'm making my own concoction of shampoo with already customized shampoo. But hey, a girl knows what she wants. I like to try new products. So anyway, if you're looking for a thickening, volumizing shampoo that's like quite intense, uh, this would be a good option. Also, if you wanna try it and you find like, oh, this is too much, this is backfiring, just mix it with whatever shampoo you're using. And you can feel like, wow, I'm really high maintenance, but you'll get the hair you want and it's just as easy as squeezing two different products in your hands, so no big deal. Okay, I have a few more hair products here that, oh no, all right, we're good. This is the Kerastase, um, I'm not gonna try it. There's a lot of French on here, I'm pretty sure that's French. This is a leave-in spray for sun-exposed hair. And something like this is great to throw in your pool bag, your beach bag. I don't know if y'all are going anywhere right now with COVID, but if you're going to be out in the sun, even if you're not in water, um, just sun, being outside, the sun is rough on your hair, just like it's rough on your skin. So a spray like this is great to add as a daily leave-in, as a, like, if you want to give your hair a little extra TLC, spray this in, but I really have enjoyed it. It's very lightweight, which I really like. Okay, the last, oh no. I know I've told you all about this. I just want to remind you, in the heat of the summer, blow drying your hair can be torture because it gets really hot. Uh, so this Bumble and Bumble BB Glow Blow Dry Accelerator is a fantastic blow dry spray. It smells really nice. It's an aerosol, but you spray it on wet hair, and I swear it cuts serious time off your blow dry. So it's going to save you from sweating during your blow dry experience. Well, it won't save you, but it'll help. Okay, the last bit of hair products I want to talk about is first of all my Mason Pearson, which I'm so sorry I didn't clean for you. You might be able to hear my kids in the background, but um, you know, they're downstairs playing. They have childcare right now, so I'm not ignoring them. Um, I'm sorry, I just had to clean out my brush because I can't really show it without being totally disgusted with myself. This is my Mason Pearson brush. This is a 
really special brush. I use it very often. It's, I wrote a whole blog post about it, so I'll put a blog post below this video, but I love this for end of day brushing through or brushing through my hair before I shower. Do you need it? Absolutely not. Is it a nice thing to have and kind of a cool story behind it? For sure. Okay, so the last thing with hair products is actually hair tools. I have been pulling like the top part of my hair up a little bit more and just little clips like this. This feels so 90s to me. Oh my gosh, do y'all remember butterfly clips from the 90s? Like doing one, two, three, four. That was my vibe. So this doesn't have a butterfly on it, but same kind of concept in terms of it being a jaw clip. And it's just easy to throw your hair back. I like that it's casual, I like that it doesn't always crease my hair beyond a place that I could kind of touch it up. So little clips like this are great. And then also the Gimme Beauty Hair Ties. I talked to y'all about these on stories. If you don't follow on Instagram, follow along over there because I share a ton of beauty tips and product reviews and all sorts of stuff on Instagram stories. But I love these hair ties. They, this one gives my ponytail so much volume. This one is what I use just for normal working out. It's a pretty standard elastic. And then they have one for long hair. This is good for times you wanna pull your hair up into a messy bun and you don't want it to be too tight. I, I honestly use all three even though I don't, I wouldn't call my hair long. I'd say it's mid length. Um, but I sent the long hair one and the thick hair one to my friend Jordan who has crazy thick and long hair and she loves them too. So the Gimme Beauty hair ties are worth the hype, I would say. And then I wanted to remind y'all that a silk hair scrunchie like this, this is by Slip, is great for pulling your hair up into a really high pony and sleeping at night. It'll help you revive your hair for the next day if you don't wanna wash and start over because it keeps all of your hair up so it encourages volume while you sleep. Uh, and the slip, like the silk part of it, means it doesn't leave a strong crease in your hair. Um, so I usually wrap this around my hair twice, and I do sleep on a silk pillowcase as well just to really preserve my hair, and it's better for skincare. It doesn't, you're not like wrinkling your skin against a cotton pillowcase. Anyway, I know I, a lot of these things I've mentioned before, but I'm like rounding up all my favorite products. I'm like, I gotta just mention these again in case you've missed it. A silk hair tie is, is wonderful to have for pulling your hair up. All right, let's move into body weight. One more hair product, the IGK Mixed Feeling Leave-In Drops. Again, you've heard me talk about these before. So I am using purple shampoo right now for, from that Function of Beauty customized pack, but before that, I was using these drops. I have a container in my shower that I left in there. This is a new container. I uh, stockpiled this when I first tried it. You just add these little purple toning drops to whatever shampoo or conditioner or leave-in conditioner or leave-in product you're using, and it makes it a toning product. So if you are loyal to a shampoo and conditioner, you don't wanna buy a purple shampoo, you don't wanna try a purple shampoo, but you wanna cut brassiness from your hair, get these little IGK drops. I think they make them in a few different colors as well, but purple is best for cutting out yellow tones in blonde hair. So if you just do a few drops of this into your shampoo, conditioner, one or the other, both, you can kind of tweak how much toning you need. This will get the job done. So I'm gonna slip this back in this container here, or this package, and put it back in my like back stock area since I already have one in my shower that I'm working through. I think that's it for hair. Yes, it is. Let's move on to body care. I found this in my cabinet. Uh, this is the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush. You can find this line at Target. Also some drugstores. I think I've seen it at some drugstores. It smells so good. This, which one is this one? I think Sugar Crush is the name of it. Freshly squeezed sweet lime fragrance. It's so good for a summer. Um, it gives you a good lather. I'm not like overly picky about body wash. I just want a good lather and to feel clean. And I sh just shave with body wash. I don't use shaving cream. Um, so that one by Soap and Glory is great. Another product I grabbed from my shower that, well, this is skincare. Let's save that for skincare. Back to body. I tried the Isle of Paradise tanning products. They sent them to me as a gift once they learned I was on Sephora Squad. So this is not sponsored. They did gift me the product with no strings attached. Uh, it's great. It is great. I used the, if I have the medium glow clear self tanning mousse. I use the mousse and the drops. There's also a water spray. I haven't yet used it, so I didn't want to talk about it yet. I've used these on my face. These are for face and body. I only use this on my face because I use the rest of this on my body. 
no streaks, a very natural looking tan, no splotches, went on really easily. I mean, I have zero complaints about it. It took a little bit of time for the color to develop, but I'm not that worried about it. It wasn't like I was in a rush. I think Saint Tropez has some like quick, quick action tanning products if you're in a rush, but I never am when it comes to tanning my body and I do, it's not something I do very regular anyway. But I'm here to tell you, if you wanna try something, I still like Saint Tropez. I have multiple blog posts about how much I like those products. This also is a great contender. I don't get streaks or splotches with Saint Tropez either, so it's not like this is gonna eliminate my use of that, but this is a really nice option. Most of my Saint Tropez products are lighter. So this is good for like midsummer when I get sun naturally just from being outside. Um, this is the medium color, but really, really great tanning products if you wanna try. Uh, use the mitt when you apply any tanning stuff to your body. I don't use the mitt when I put these, you just add a few drops of these, I think I only did one drop actually, in with your moisturizer, so you don't need a mitt for doing that. But I wanted to highlight that tanning product because it's been great. All right. Oh no, I forgot to mention this hair product. I'm sorry, this is kind of scattered. I threw so much in here. This is the Virtue Create Lifting Powder. And it comes in like a spring loaded container. So there's just loose powder in here, but when you push it, okay, ready? I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, did you see that? It just, it's a little dusty. It sprays out the powder and what powder does is, oh, I'm getting confused here because my daughter, Emily, who's two, is not saying S's yet, which is totally normal. But when she says spider, it's just powder. So we've been saying powder a lot because she's talking about spiders, but this is lifting powder for the hair. No spiders involved in this product, hopefully. What you do with lifting powder is you spray it in at your root area. I personally like to spray it in like mid shaft to ends to add bulk to this part of my hair since I usually get good lift from other products, but it adds like thickness that you can feel and not see. It makes my hair feel twice as thick as it actually is. Um, downsides of powder are it doesn't like fade away. So once you put it in, it's in there, girl, and you're gonna need to wash it to get it out. I can restyle on the second day. I think a lot of the reason why is I spray, I like deposit the powder here, and then I use my hands and then go through and fluff it like from the bottom. So it adds bulk down here, and whenever I need to revive my hair on day two, I'll just like touch it up with the curling iron. Anyway, a powder like that is great, whether you want root, lift, or thickness here. It's great to put in your hair before you pull your hair into a ponytail. If you want your ponytail to look a little bit more lifted and volumized, it just adds thickness. You won't be able to see it on darker hair, um, and I just can't say enough great things about it. It's a great product. Okay. We are done with hair and body. We are gonna move on to skincare and makeup. Let me get organized here. Nail care, I have a toothbrush, and then I have a random product. All right, let's do skincare. This pore balancing facial sauna scrub is something I've had in my shower for a while. This is by Ola Henriksen. I love using this all year, but especially in the summer because it, it has volcanic sand and it warms up on your skin. I always do exfoliators like this in the shower because the steam opens my pores. And then I feel like I can get the products really in there like deep, a little deeper than if I were just go cold onto my face um, at my sink. But what I like about this so much in the summer is I feel like my pores get clogged with sunblock and uh, this cleans them out so deeply. So it feels warm on the skin and then when you wash it off, your skin feels clean without being overly dry. So if you're looking for a good summer exfoliator, I can't say enough great things about that one. Um, I also have the Transforming Walnut Scrub by Ulla Henriksen. That's really great as well. Okay, if you know me, you know I love a vitamin C serum. This is the Truth Serum, also by the same brand, Ulla Henriksen. I did also try the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. So I did not love the Banana Bright Moisturizer by Ulla Henriksen. I also could totally live without the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I just didn't love it. It was fine, but it didn't blow me away. However, this product blows me away. Um, I would say if I had to, ooh, I'm getting to the end there. I'm gonna use this because I don't wanna waste it. Um, if I had to repurchase one or the other and if I ran out of both and I was like, okay, I need more vitamin C, I would get this one. This one is better than this original Truth Serum for me and here's why. This is a clear, well, it's a little orange in color, gel consistency. It is hydrating, it's brightening, it's tightening. I feel like my skin feels tighter in a good way after using this 
the moisture I get from this is totally worth this product. So this has a little bit more extra thing that has hyaluronic acid. I don't think Truth Serum does. Um, all the ingredients are not on this one. Anyway, this is more hydrating, also brightening, also tightening. It just, I don't know, it has a little bit of extra stuff in it. So if you're looking for a vitamin C serum and you're looking at old posts and you're like, oh, Kate likes the Truth Serum. I do still like the Truth Serum. But I hope you see this. And if you're going between both of them and you want extra hydration, get the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. It's, it's great. I'm running out of room here on my wine cart because I'm just moving all the products over there. Okay, last two, last three skincare products. This is the Urban Decay. This is a uh, Summer Solstice Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. This smells so good. I don't know if this was a limited edition. They, they make the Urban Decay, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray all the time. But there's nothing special other than the scent about this Summer Solstice. If you live in a hot place and you don't want your makeup to move, Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray is what you need. No matter what type of makeup you're wearing, light makeup, full coverage, doesn't matter. Set it with this setting spray. It won't move. Try it. You'll see. What that setting spray doesn't do that this one does is offer any sort of like natural looking glow to the skin. That is more mattifying on me. The Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray by Hourglass makes my skin look so hydrated and glowy in a good way, not sweaty, not oily, nothing like that, just like skin. Um, sometimes matte foundation and then a matte setting spray can make me feel flat and sort of make my skin look drier than it actually is. So I actually will spray the all-nighter setting spray on top of my makeup, maybe like before I do mascara, to let it sit. And then my final step is to do a soft focus setting spray with Hourglass. I know that's high maintenance. You don't need to do it. I just like doing it. I've also been using this again. This is a Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I like using this on a cotton pad after I get out of the shower if I forgot I had like a little bit of mascara on just to rub under my eye area or on my lid. Um, it, I wanted to highlight it again. I know I've talked about it before. It's a great, uh, easy to use makeup remover. You do have to spray it on a little cotton pad. Get really thick cotton pads so you're not wasting a bunch of them. And it is perfect for removing makeup and not making your skin feel like overly dry, squeaky clean. It just feels like my skin's clean and still hydrated. Okay, I have makeup and nails. Let's do these two things. They don't go together. This is my Quip toothbrush. I finally got a new brush head. I haven't had the subscription for a while. Um, Cause I'm like, oh, I'll just pick it up at Target, whatever. This is, this is good. I, I had a sponsorship with Quip a while ago, two years, two years ago. I was pregnant. I was so pregnant with Emmy when we shot that. Um, and I still have been using it. I was getting the brush heads for a while, but I think I didn't update my address. I can't remember, but I stopped getting them. I was like, shoot. So I was just using a different toothbrush, but I found brush heads at Target. So I replaced it and I bought another backup so I can just replace it at my leisure. I'm really rough on my toothbrushes. So I go through brush heads faster than the usual person. Um, but it's such a good toothbrush and doesn't tickle my teeth. I have sensitive teeth. It doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is this little air stick phone holder. You can stick this on your mirror. So if you're doing anything on Instagram, Instagram stories, making videos, anything, or you just want to watch a makeup tutorial, a hair tutorial, you name it, and you want it like at eye view when you're getting ready, this little black part sticks to your mirror. It doesn't leave any residue. It's, it's really cool. Uh, so I've been using that in my bathroom a little bit and then also at my beauty counter. Okay, I got cut off there because my video ran too long, so I'm going to try and make this kind of quick. Um, this is the London Town Lacquer Nail Polish. This is the Gel Genius Top Coat, the Gel Genius Base Coat, and this shade is Summer Fling. I don't have it on my nails right now, but I was wearing it on my nails for a while. Um, it's such a perfect summer pink, is it not? Anyway, this product line my sister told me about, she's like, it lasts really long on me, and she likes Je Essie's Gel Couture as well. Um, Essie's Gel Couture is like the only long-lasting nail polish that actually lasts on me. This, though, now is in competition for the Gel Couture placement in my life. I love the colors. I'm always disappointed that Essie's Gel Couture does not have a bigger range of shades. 
So Lacquer has a great shade range, really fun summer colors that I've been enjoying, and it lasts a really long time on me, so I've been really pleased. Okay, the last three products are makeup products. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in shade 5. My only note about this is it does leak out of the top of the product, which I hate. It is a medium coverage, natural looking under eye concealer. And I feel like a lot of times I talk about full coverage under eye concealer. If you want something that looks a little bit more natural or perhaps you don't wear foundation and you only want a concealer for under eye and then blemishes as well, this would be a really great natural looking option for you. The last two things are two cream, br cream blushes. These are by Fenty Beauty. Um, I started with Strawberry Drip, which is a warmer, corally pink. And then I loved it so much, I got Crush on Cupid, which is a more cool toned pink. Not a huge difference, but you can see this one has a little bit more orange in it and this one has a little bit more violet in tone. Um, cream blushes are so easy to use. I especially love them in the summer because you can put them on bare skin and they look really natural. You can put them over foundation and they look really natural. I still really love my NARS liquid blush in the shade Orgasm. These are just two new colors for me um, and I wanted to explore Fenty Beauty a little bit more. So Strawberry Drip and Crush on Cupid. Uh, here's Strawberry Drip, here's Crush on Cupid. If you need a cream blush, I would highly recommend these. I do use a little, um, like, kind of tightly packed blush brush to apply them onto my cheeks. But you could use your fingers if you want to. It's kind of, You've got options with cream blush, and that's what I love about it. Okay, so that was my huge haul of beauty products I've been loving lately. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one, so thanks for sticking by. Um, I'll put links to all the products below the video here and yeah, I'll see you in my next video.